Okay, so we have this function, and we have to find out where it's increasing, decreasing, uh, where the relative max is, and where the relative min is. So we'll do this using calculus. So solution. We'll start by taking the derivative. Now when we take the derivative, we have to use the product rule. So h prime of x. So the derivative of the first piece will be 2 x plus 4 chain rule times the derivative of the inside. So that's the derivative of the first piece, and then times the second piece, so x minus 2, plus the first piece, so x plus 4, quantity squared, times the derivative of the second piece, which is 1. And we set it equal to 0, right? We use the product rule. If you have two functions, f and g, and you take the derivative of their product, it's the derivative of the first, times the second, plus the first, times the derivative of the second. And let's check. We took the derivative of the first. We brought the two downstairs. So we got two and then x plus four. And then we took the derivative of the inside, right? We have to use the chain rule here. That's one times the second piece, which is here, plus the first piece times the derivative of the second piece, which is just one. Okay, at this point we'll factor out what we can. It looks like we can factor out an x plus four. So we'll do that. So this is x plus four then here we end up with, I'll use a bracket, 2x minus 2 plus x plus 4. And this whole thing here, we want to set it equal to 0. Let's keep going. So h prime of x. This is x plus 4. Let's see if we can do this in one step. 2x plus x is 3x. Negative 4 plus 4 is 0. Yep, that works. Set this equal to zero, so we set each factor equal to zero. And so we end up with two answers, or two critical numbers, negative four and zero. Notice the derivative is never undefined, so we don't care about that. So these are our critical numbers. And now what I like to do is I draw, I'd like to draw a little number line and plot the critical numbers. Then what you do is you pick test points, right? You pick a, any number you want over here and you plug it into the derivative. So let's try negative 10. Why negative 10? I, I don't know, just any number you want. So h prime of negative 10, well that's going to be negative 10 plus 4 is negative 6, and then 3 times negative 10 is negative 30. So that's 180, and that's a positive number. So the function is increasing over here, so what I like to do is draw a little arrow going up tells us it's increasing. Now we'll pick a number over here. So let's try negative 1. If you plug in negative 1, you get negative 1 plus 4. So it's going to be 3. And then here you're going to get negative 3. That's less than 0, so over here it's decreasing. Uh, and let's check 1. So if you check 1, you get uh, 5 times 3 which is 15, right? So one, 1 plus 4 is 5, and then times 3 you get 15. So over here it's increasing. So we see that it's increasing from negative infinity all the way to negative 4. So negative infinity to negative 4. And you can use a union. I will, but you don't have to. Another union here. Put a union, and then over here it's increasing. So 0 to infinity. And I guess from the picture, decreasing would be negative 4 to 0. So decreasing from negative 4 to 0. Relative max. Well, it looks like, let me use a, a different color. It looks like it's getting bigger, 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 bigger. Oh, look, it's getting smaller. So we have a max here. And then look, smaller, 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 smaller. Oh, look, it's getting bigger. So we have a min here. So we have a max at negative 4. And we have a min at 0. So to find the actual maximums and minimums, you have to go back to the original function. So we're going to take negative 4, and we're going to plug it back into the original. So h of negative 4, well, that's just 0, right? Because when you put a negative 4 here, you get negative 4 plus 4, which is 0. So the whole thing is 0. So we have a max at, so let, me, let me write at, negative 4 comma 0. That's where our max happens. And now we'll plug in 0 into the original function, right? So h of 0, in this case, 0 plus 4 is 4, so we get 4 squared times negative 2, right? 0 minus 2, 0 minus 2 is minus 2, so you end up with uh, negative 32. So you have a min at 
0, negative 32. Why, why am I doing it this way? You can also just write uh, 0 here. That's an acceptable answer. And here you can write negative 32. That's, that's also an acceptable answer. Remember, maximums and minimums are y values. It's just, it seems like a lot of um, you know, homework out there, uh, they write the x and the y. That's technically incorrect. Um, maximums and minimums are y values. So these are perfectly acceptable answers. I hope this helps someone out there.